Hi, welcome to the Jackman. Today we're at the gym and I'll be sharing with you some exercises that uh, I use and have been using that have aided me in um, moving, you know, an immobile, an immobile human being, uh, Jack. Uh, maybe at home you have someone, uh, it doesn't matter what age, what size, what weight, um, eventually the, the toll will, it'll take a physical toll on you and hopefully these exercises will help. Now, I'm not an expert, I'm not a physical therapist, but I am certified through NASM, which is the National Academy of Sports Medicine, uh, as a certified personal trainer. So, in other words, I'm a personal trainer. Um, so, while I'm not an expert, I do know my exercise, and I do know that these exercises will help. Um, call it functional exercise if you want. I hate that term, but that's exactly what it is. Oh yeah, car's pulling up behind me. All right, here we go, let's go do it. So to avoid copyright infringement, I'm gonna go ahead and just dub this whole thing. So if the uh, audio doesn't match, you know, the mouth that you can't see moving, don't worry about it. What I'm saying here is you wanna warm up before you do any kind of exercise. That's for another video though. Whew, got that sweat off my head. Okay, so we're not gonna be lifting heavy here. Um, this video isn't intended for bros. It's not intended for powerlifting. It's not intended to become a bigger person and to show off. We're just gonna make ourselves stronger so therefore we can move our immobile people at home. And I'm just nodding my head here a lot and looking around, cool. Our first exercise is gonna be a zercher squat. So we're gonna to wanna to get into a standard squat rack. Here we have an Olympic barbell, 45 pounds, pretty standard, about the weight of a four or five year old. And what we'll do is we'll move that bar down to about the height of our elbows. That way we'll be able to best mimic carrying a person. All right, move that sucker on down. Make sure that you, you know, you're going, oh, we're gonna tap it for luck, okay. We're gonna wrap it up in the crease of our elbows and do this number right here. First though, we're gonna wanna get a pad to put on the bar. Don't be a jerk, get a pad. All right, it's around here someplace. Oh, 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 just like that. So now we're ready to work out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our arms under the pad. Proper stance is important while doing this exercise if you wanna avoid injury. Make sure your legs are shoulder width apart and when you squat, avoid allowing your knees to buckle whether in or going out. You're going to look like a fool, and you're going to end up hurting yourself as well. Your knee should make a straight line over your toes. So, don't do this. Or that. Or this. Or hello, that. my baby. Oh, hello, my honey. Eye. Hello, my rag tab All right, here we go. We're going to wrap our arms up onto the pad. Lift. Do that. We're going to take a few steps back since we're out of the way of the safety catches there. And then we're going to we're gonna squat at some point. Squat. Good. And it doesn't matter how low you go. Um, if, if you could only go, you know, halfway down, don't worry about it. So here's a picture. This is what a, this is how this helps with uh, carrying, you know, people and holding them up and climbing stairs and whatnot. The squat part will help with that. Keep that straight spine. It's, it's very important for the spine. Just squat and, and go until it burns, man, until you can't go anymore. And then put it back. You don't need it anymore. No, really, the Zercher squat is one of the most important exercises you can do, in my opinion, um, when it comes to carrying anybody. Like I said, when you're going up and down steps or just anywhere around, you know, it, it'll strengthen your arms, your, your legs, your posterior chain. The bar itself should be sufficient. The bar is 45 pounds, remember, so it should easily, you know, mimic the weight of a youngin'. Let's move over now, and we're going to do a quick wardrobe change because, you know, I'm just good like that. And we're going to go do a rack pull. Okay, so I actually, I believe the rack pull is more important than the Zercher squat. Because I, I actually use this, uh, you know, more often to get Jack up out of bed or from anywhere, from any lower position than, you know, a Zercher squat. A Zercher squat is for after the rack pull. So let's go ahead and see how it's done. Oh yeah, we'll just slide that on out the way. Just move it as far away as you can. We don't even want to look at it. All right, so we got these, uh, touch that for luck, okay. We have these safety bars down here. They're already down low, which is good. We're gonna take the bar. Yep, we're gonna set it down low. It's right below our knees, cool. Uh, don't have to adjust anything. We're gonna walk around here. Uh, get some very light weight. You don't need much weight. It's just, this is a 10 pound plate. We're gonna put it on here, like so. Do 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 do. Grab another one. This is good stuff. All right, we're gonna put it on there. Get that weight. That's gonna be 65 pounds right there. That should be 
more than sufficient. Oh, now it's getting real. Okay, sweater's coming off. Look out. 65 pounds should be sufficient for what we're doing here. So we're going to set the bar. In this case, it's going to be just above our knees, and that's fine. Uh, we're going to spread our legs uh, shoulder width apart. We're going to bend down. We're going to make a straight spine. Straight spine. Straight to the ceiling, 45 degree. Make sure your shoulder blades are pulled back. Pull them back. Make sure you're not doing this number right here where you're slumped over like oh. Charlie Brown, just bobbing up and down with the bar. Don't do it. All right, straight spine. We got our hands on the bar. When we lift, we're gonna we're gonna hinge our hips. We're gonna push. And we're gonna pull back. We're just letting our back and hips and our butt do the work. Again, watch those knees. Keep them straight over your toes. You don't want them bending in or out. You don't want any kind of horse leg while you're doing this. <laughs> and here's how our exercise applies to uh, lifting a person. Boom. We're going to leave the barbells now and head on over to the cable machine. We're going to put the pin in a proper weight. We're not going to go for anything very heavy. In fact, I advise you do not go very heavy. Uh, this will do. Then we're going to have to root around and find ourselves the proper tool. In this case, we want a handle. Just a regular old handle that will fit nicely in your hand. So now we'll be doing the low cable chest fly. But Gabe, you say, your form on this exercise is not proper. You're raising that too high. Yes, yes I am. Because normally this exercise works your chest. And you normally bring your hands in front of you together at about mid-chest. Here we're raising our hands high so we can replicate raising a human being up just like if we were doing this. Or normally you would feel this exercise mainly in your chest and your front delts, the front part of your shoulder. Now you should be feeling it in your back as well. That's kind of the point. Here's my version of it. Next, we move on to crossbody curls, where you hold the dumbbell with a neutral grip and raise it across your body like so. The idea here is that it simulates holding a person in a neutral grip if they're going across your shoulder like so and also improves the strength of your grip while holding that person or you know opening anything else like a wine bottle or you know whatever else you need strength opening look at him go make sure you don't involve your shoulder in the exercise just use your bicep imagine you're you know crushing a can in the crook of your elbow just a can okay and so now comes the part where we apply our functional exercises Now just for fun, we're going to go over to a row machine. This is perfect for gaining strength and uh, pulling, you know, that wheelchair up over a curb. So first what we want to do, we want to adjust our seat and our front pad here just to make sure, you know, it's at arm's length. And if you adjust the height, you can set the, the row to where you want it. In my case, I like to do it a little high. So with the seated row, you want to grab, you want that, you want that straight spine again and make sure your head is staying in one spot. Let your back do the work. Pull it back. Don't do chicken head. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't bob and weave. Just smooth controlled motions throughout. Again, you don't need a lot of weight for this. Just keep bing bonging and bang clanging. Rare. Rare. And when you're done, you know what to do. Please wipe down your equipment before and after use. I think that's gonna do it. Uh, if you found this video helpful or useful or just plain entertaining, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, click the little uh, ding dong notification button and uh, you know give that thumbs up there if, if you would. Um, again, you know we're not going for heavy weight here. We're not trying to kill ourselves or become uh, meatheads in the gym. So if you didn't know about the exercises before, now you do.